This is a short video showing how to convert an Eagle schematic into a PCB. Um, the first thing you should do is check that your schematic is good by running an error rule check ERC. You can see here that my LED, I've got a warning here, it doesn't have a value. That's fine, you don't need to give a value to LEDs, but resistors, for example, should have uh, values. Like this resistor here is a 4.77 kilo ohm resistor. I'm just going to approve that error and close the error rule check. Uh, the next thing you need to click is this button here, which will generate or switch to a board. I don't have a board yet, so when I click it, it will throw me this error, um, and I'm going to create the schematic. Um, these icons might look different in older versions of Eagle, but they do the same thing. Um, so over here on the right-hand side of my screen is my PCB layout. Um, these components represent are represented by the symbols in the schematic editor. I'm just going to go to split screen mode. Makes it a lot easier to lay out PCB um, if you can see the schematic at the same time. The other thing I'm going to do over here, we're using the move tool, is shrink down the size of this yellow rectangle. The yellow rectangle is the PCB material where I'm going to build my schematic. Um, so this is the fiberglass and copper board. Uh, it's much easier to shrink it down. So then you can zoom it to fit, uh, and it makes everything a lot bigger and easier to work with. So the first thing you need to do is move all these components onto the board. Uh, like I said earlier, it's easier to do this if you can see the schematic, because you can lay it out in a similar way. You don't necessarily have to, though. So I'm going to put my 9 volt battery over here, and slowly move on these components, uh, one at a time. Uh, you'll see these yellow lines uh, moving around. These things here are called air wires. Uh, and these are how the nets, which are the green lines in the schematic, are represented in the PCB. I can use this tool here, which is the show tool, or I like to call it the all-seeing eye. Um, if I click on this net here, this wire that connects this LDR to this transistor and battery, you can see that it's high these air wires over here are highlighted, which show the same connections in the PCB board. So I'm going to move these components around so that it looks similar to how it does over here. Uh, so I left click on the components to select them and then right click to rotate them. Um, it's a good idea to often click this button here, which is called the rat's nest button. That will redraw the air wires, um, making it show the shortest possible connection uh, to the nearest component. Um, so see here, you got these two air wires coming to this point here. If I hit rat's nest, notice that they've now been simplified down. Uh, I can see that there's a problem with my board. It looks like I've got my battery up the wrong way. So you can see here that the positive terminal is connected down here to the um, LDR. So this should be the negative terminal here and the positive terminal at the top. So I can go back to my schematic and delete these nets. You can notice that the air wires have now vanished from over here on the PCB. I can rotate this component and reconnect the nets. And you'll notice that the air wires reappear over here on the PCB and now my um, battery is the correct way around. Uh, so what I'm doing here is the most important part about making PCB. It's going to be much easier if you shorten down these air wires as much as possible um, before you start laying tracks, uh, which is where the copper is going to run, uh, connecting the components together. Um, this is when you should be investing most of your time, is laying these out correctly. Something that can help lay this out is turning on the grid, which is up here. Can display the grid and it can just show you where um, the components are in relation to each other and where the, along the which lines the tracking is going to be laid. Okay so I'm going to start laying tracking now with the route tool. You want to route onto the bottom layer so components normally sit on top of the board. You put the pins through holes in the board and do the soldering on the back of the board. So I've selected the bottom layer. I'm going to change my width here. I'm just going to go to full screen to do this to make it a bit easier. Change my width to around 50 mils, which is a mil, sorry, which is a thousandth of an inch. Um, the thicker your tracks, the better in general. 
Cool, so now I'm just going to select on this component and you can notice there's a bit of tracking here is attached to my mouse. And um, this pin and this pin over here have gone white because that shows where this should conduct to. So I'm going to run it here. When I click, you'll notice that it's no longer attached to my mouse. And when I run it here, again, it's no longer attached to my mouse. And this track is now completed. Um, you'll see it's got a name on it. Uh, this one is called N$1 and this is N$3. So this is Net1 and Net3 from the schematic. So I'm just going to quickly go through and join up all these connections. If you need to put a bend in the wire, I recommend doing all bends at 90, oh sorry, 45 degree angles. Okay, um, so electrons are like bends as opposed to um, right angles. I'm just looking for the delete tool. There it is. I want to get rid of this bit of um, tracking here and connect it like so uh, great so the last bit of tracking has to run through this gap here in the transistor so the 50 mil will not fit but i think if i go down to oh, 12 might be a bit low 16 Let's see if i can get a little bit higher i'll be able to run it through that gap 20 great cool so it looks like the pcb is finished and i can run over here which called it which what is called a design rule checked hopefully i can run it there we go design rule check there's lots of things you can set in here like how many layers your board has how much space between tracks and so on um but i'm just going to go with the default run a check here and nothing came up which means i've done a good job great um so that's how you convert a schematic to pcb i hope this video has been helpful